Nuclear war is coming. This is one of the recent blood-curdling warnings given to Europe. Europe has literally exhausted every resource in its coffers to defeat Russia and is now dog tired from the Ukraine war. Europe's willpower has long shattered, but Russia has not been defeated. Now Ukraine fears that without the support of Europe, he couldn't stand a chance against the mighty Russians. So, Mr. President is trying to coerce Brussels with a creative false alarm. Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host Ananya and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI Global channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. And please install our Apple and Android mobile app. The link is given below in the description. According to Washington Post, Ukraine's top military chief Valery Zaluzhne has warned that a limited nuclear war between Russia and Ukraine cannot be ruled out. As per Ukraine, such a scenario could have grave global implications. In rare public comments, Ukraine's military chief has alarmed that Russia might create the risk of a limited nuclear conflict with other powers. Valery Zaluzhne made these statements in Ukraine form a state-run media outlet. Reportedly, Valery stressed it is also impossible to completely rule out the possibility of the direct involvement of the world's leading countries in a limited nuclear conflict, in which the prospect of World War III is already directly visible. The military chief's assessment has come at a time when the Ukrainian military has claimed that it is retaking small territories in counter-offensives in the southern and eastern regions of the country which has severely been harming Ukrainian soldiers. Yet, Ukraine is trying its best to portray itself as the knight in shining armour. Using this camouflage of bravery, Ukraine has again demanded the support of Europe to keep fighting Russia. The military chief has furthermore added, Ukraine will need to match the strike range of Moscow's weapons in order to turn the tide of the war. The only path to a cardinal change in the strategic situation is undoubtedly a series of several consecutive or ideally simultaneous counter-strikes by Ukraine's armed forces during the 2023 campaign. So clearly, Ukraine eyes weapons from Europe at any cost. And the reason behind this is crystal clear. Europe has expressed its intentions to back off from the war. But for Zelensky's Ukraine, EU is one of the largest blocs supporting its push against Russia. Over the past two months, six major nations in Europe did not make any fresh bilateral military commitments to Ukraine. This was for the first time since Russia's special military operation in late February. It was the United States who has put pressure on Germany to provide Ukraine with military assistance once more. But how long will Europe continue to help Ukraine with such tactics? It still remains in predicament. Moreover, Ukraine challenging Russia to engage in a limited nuclear conflict also sparks concern over whether Ukraine possesses such weapons. It may have. Ukraine has the US on its side, which has already backtracked on its promises of a no first use policy with respect to nuclear weapons, both in local and international forums. Whereas it has continuously supplied Kyiv with weapons, some of the recent ones are supplied via underground trade. Pakistan is one such recent example. Mr. President understands that without Europe's support, its chances of sustaining the war would be curtailed. And honestly, it's actually heading in that direction only. Europeans are angry with NATO's approach to the war. Whereas, the EU has decided to keep Ashtam and focus on its own home first. Victory for Russia is like a low-hanging fruit now. Therefore, Zelensky thought that a nuclear war alarm would be the ideal tool to regain the waning support of Brussels. A limited nuclear war, as stated by Ukraine, would be definitely devastating for the whole European continent. The immense radiation could lead to mass deaths, crop failures and even a rise in severe illnesses like cancer. In short, that would not be a pleasant scenario, either for the EU or the West. These tactics are being used by Zelensky and US to maintain Europe's support. Be very sure, all parties are aware of the potential devastation a nuclear war may cause. The chances of the said nuclear war are minuscule. 
so much so that it won't ever be taking place. Zelensky's heroic attempt to alert the world's media about a limited nuclear war is an outright farce one like many.